Hey guys, how's it going? On this chilly day today, I am building a version of Bob Claggett's sheet metal break. I know there are a few other videos on how to make the same thing, however his is the one I referenced most. Check out the link to his video in the description below. I start this project over at the miter saw and cut an 8 foot 2x4 in half. There was a bit of twist in this board and this half of the board was worse off, so I grabbed the other half and proceeded with this side instead. After I remembered where I left my materials, I started laying out the areas to cut out of the aluminum angle, and using the vise on my portable workbench, I began to attack it with the angle grind. Since aluminum is fairly soft, this was probably overkill for this project, but oh well. Once the tabs are removed, I dig out one of my files, and file down the cut edges of the aluminum. I do this on every cut portion of the project. I put the aluminum back up on the 2x4 to compare the hinge and mark out the next area to cut out, and attack it again with the angle grinder and file. With that section cut out of the corner, the corner of the aluminum matches up with the center of the barrel of the hinge. However, to connect the next piece of aluminum, I need to remove the same corner in the next piece. Back to the angle grinder and file again. I guess the aluminum heats up a little bit from the angle grinder, you can see the sticker melting away here. It'll be nice when I get around to building a proper workbench that doesn't move around on me while I'm working. Moving on to the hinges. I take a nail and knock out the hinge pin, flip one half of the hinge around and reinstall the pin. This gives me the mostly correct offset so the two opposing aluminum bars are both lined up in the center of the hinge barrel. When I finish with that I clamp the aluminum to the 2x4 to hold it in place, mark out the screw locations for the hinges, center punch the holes, and take it over to the drill press. I'm going to use wood screws for this portion, so my goal here is to just break through the aluminum. Then I install the hinges. To install the hinges on the second piece of aluminum, I clamp the hinge and aluminum together, mark out the screw holes, center punch, and head back to the drill press. To secure this section, I'm using nuts and bolts. These holes are slightly undersized to make sure that aluminum and hinges are bolted together tightly. Though I must have twisted this bolt crooked at some point and cross-threaded it. So I left it for now and moved on with the rest of them. I came back later to try and come up with a diplomatic solution, and after a lengthy deliberation with the bolt, we came up with a solution that worked out well for all parties involved. Now on to the third and final piece of aluminum angle. I place it on top of the rest of the brake and with the file, I score out a section. This is to create a flat section that the drill press will be able to bite into without sending the drill bit to one side or another. This took a couple trips back and forth to figure out properly. In order to mount this to the rest of the brake, I needed to drill through the brake to have the bolts come up through the bottom and through the top of the third piece of aluminum. In order to keep the brake level with the table, I countersunk the bolt holes from the bottom. I then secured the bolts from the top with a nut. While I had the Forstner bit in the drill press, I also drilled out the areas in the way of the second piece of aluminum falling flush with the rest of the brake. The third piece of aluminum is then installed and held in place with a couple washers and wing nuts. For the handle, I grabbed some aluminum square stock and cut off around 12 inches. I figured this would be easier to cut with a stationary angle grinder, so I rigged up my cheap bench grinder and cut the square stock to length and ground off the rough edges. I decided to put the handle between the upright bolt and the hinge, since there wouldn't be any bending action in this area. So I marked out the area, center punched, and took it over to the drill press. Something I didn't take into account here was the thickness of the aluminum and the bolts that I had picked up were not long enough to secure them from the backside. So after a bit of thought I cut down another wood scrap that I could use to hold the nut against the bolt inside the square stock. I wasn't able to get it as tight as I would have liked, but it seems to be tight enough. Then with a little bit of testing I'd say this is good to go. Since this is the first part of my laundry room renovation mini-series, please remember to come back next week and you'll be able to see what I actually built this thing for. Or if you're here from the future, you'll already know. Either way, I'll have the video linked in the description below. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.